In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to conditionally highlight rows in a table based on a value in the row. So for example, over here, we have a bunch of employees with salaries, and we want to highlight the employees that are making too much money, for example. Now, the new component that we are going to use to do that is called the badge component, which is part of the things that you can find in the Oracle Jet set of components. If you search it over here, you can just pick it up and bring it, for example, to be as a column in the table over here. Now, you can conditionally decide what to show on the badge, and to do that, we're going to use an expression. Instead of showing just the badge, we're going to look at the salary, and we're going to check if it's bigger than 3,000. And if it is, we're going to say this is high, and otherwise, we're going to say OK. So this is a, an expression language that basically does the evaluation. And now you can see that the value is over here showing us whether it's high or low. Now, the more interesting thing is also to change the color over here based on the value. So this is done using the class tag over here. And if you will check the examples here, you would see, for example, that we're using this type of class. OK, so let's copy this. There's info, success, warning, and danger. And inside our class over here, we're going to take the same approach. Instead of just writing OJ badge, we're going to return OJ badge and, for example, info. And we're going to return this based on a condition. So again, we're bringing the salary. We're going to check if it's bigger than 3,000. If it is, then we're going to return one thing, and otherwise we're going to return the other thing. So this is actually the other thing. And what we want to do if it's bigger than salary is we want to use the danger color. Okay. Click Save. And now you can see we're highlighting in red rows that have a specific high value. Otherwise, it's blue. Now, the advantage of this approach is that you're using two indicators. One is color, but for people who, for example, are colorblind, they would still be able to see things based on the uh, text that is in here. Now, another type of um, way that people sometimes like to highlight things is to actually color the whole row. Now, we actually prefer this approach that you're seeing here with the badge because it's much more accessible to customers. But if you want to do row highlighting, um, such as what you'll see in this page, where we're coloring the row based on the value, again, uh, things that are higher than 3,000 are green and lower are red. To do that, what we did here is we used a row template. So we have a table. Inside the table, we have a template component. Okay, uh, this is a row template, so the slot is row template. Then over here, the style which we prefix with a colon is based on a function that gets the salary. Okay, so this is a JavaScript function in our page. So if we go to the function here, uh, you can see that we're accepting the salary, we're checking if it's more than 3000, and then we're returning an object that has the background color as green. Or if it's smaller, then the background color is a red. Okay, so this is what we're returning here. And then we're using it in our page over here. Okay, so again, the main things to note here is the row template column, okay, for the template here and then the style. Again, this row template is something that you can find in the JET cookbook. If you navigate over to the collections area, under the table component, you can find how to use a row template to format a row in any way you want. And this is what we're using inside our Visual Builder instance over here to achieve this type of coloring. Again, remember, this is not exactly accessible for people who are colorblind. This is why we prefer to use the badging approach.